These days, I freely admit that I'm a casual retro gamer. I used to game a lot on my Commodore 64s back in the 80s, but these days, not so much. That doesn't mean that I can't enjoy 15 minutes of Load Runner once in a while, and this is definitely one of my favorite games on the C64 platform. And my 1701 monitor is still going strong, recapped and uh, everything. And I know that CRT monitor very well, so when I got the RetroThink 4K and started messing around with some scan lines and masks, etc., this was the monitor I had in mind. And so for this, I will use the composite input of the RetroThink going out of the Commodore 64. Now, I'm sure a lot of you watching this video will be hardcore CRT enthusiasts and have detailed studies of different masks and whatnot. And I'm sure some of you will be hell-bent on getting the exactly right look for your setups. And nothing wrong with that. I'm just not like that when I'm doing this now. I'm just trying to find something that looks good, that reminds me of scan lines when I will uh, game on my Commodore 64 through the RetroTink 4K on a big screen. And that happens occasionally when I want a retro game with my kids or if I'm having friends over. And my CRT room is too small to have more than a couple of people in there. What I did find is that uh, when you enable masks and uh, scan lines, etc., you might want to compensate for the picture going slightly dark by uh, turning up the gain for the gamma or brightness contrast, etc. And also saturation can benefit from a little bit of boost after you enable scan lines and masks. <laughs> I know you won't believe me after this footage coming up, but uh, back in the day I was actually a master of ghosts and goblins in the arcades. And I could pretty much finish up the game with just one man, one life back in the day. Now I'm struggling to get past the first level actually. That's how it is, and I just have to admit defeat and uh, realize that uh, I will never master this again the way I used to. Ah well, Ghost and Goblins is still one of my favorite games ever. And I think this looks pretty good. Another game I love so much, easily on the top 3 list of my Commodore 64 games, is Load Runner. Do you remember how you could construct your own levels etc? So much fun! And this is actually much harder than it looks. One of the games you really uh, had to take your time to master back in the day. Very easy and simple gameplay, but uh, the AI built into these um, characters chasing you is kind of mind-boggling even today. They seem to have a, a life on their own, for real. I'll never get tired of this game. This is one of the games I actually play a lot when I uh, turn on the Commodore 64 these days. And this one you know of course, Commando, a very classic Commodore 64 game. Here we started out with no masks or scan lines, so let's enable it and uh, see how it looks. You can see that the image goes slightly darker the more we turn on or strengthen the masks or scan lines. I'm pretty sure it's possible to uh, dial in uh, settings that will make this very close to a particular monitor or scanline mask you have in mind, and some of you hardcore fans will definitely be able to do that, I think. And if you have any favorite settings, please share it in the comment section so more of us can enjoy it and try it out. Here I'm compensating for the slightly darker picture by dialing in some uh, adjustments to, uh, to make it pop a little bit more. There we go, that's more like it and it's running really fast in uh, high speed. I also have a couple of these Namco TV plug and play games that were very popular 20-25 uh, years ago. So let's try them uh, through the RetroTINK 4K and see how they look. Also through the composite in, here's pole position. There appears to be some jittering uh, going on at the top of the screen especially. You could see it on the, some of the letters and numbers there. So let's go into the film mode and uh, play around with the um, telecine adjustments. I'm not exactly sure what's coming out of this uh, TV uh, plug-and-play game. 
But I think we corrected a little bit of it uh, with these settings. Let's try it one more time with some masks and scan lines. Let's finish off this session with some shoot 'em up. Here's Bosconian. Well, that pretty much wraps up this episode. Thank you so much for watching 5 Minutes of Retro. I'm Espencroft, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!